Hi everyone, this is a walkthrough for Later Than You Think by Bill. This was posted on February 12th for Cass. And this is a little killer and quadruples Sudoku. So as usual, we have normal rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some clues outside the grid with arrows, and the clue gives the sum of the digits along those arrows. So these two cells must sum to nine. Digits could repeat normally in Little Killer, but all of these clues are contained within a single box. And then we have these circles. They're on corners, and they tell us that the digits in the circles must appear somewhere in the four cells surrounding the circle. So 8 and 9 must appear in these four cells somewhere. We could have duplicates, like we could have two ones here and a three here. That would be fine. but in this case, we're only given two digits that have to appear. So the other, other two cells are free to be anything. So we're going to start with the little killer clues and the quadruples. And this is kind of the, the theme that Bill has put in this puzzle. We have a clue summing three cells to nine here. However, two of those cells are part of this quadruples clue. And the quadruples clue tells us that two of these four cells must be eight and nine. Well, eight and nine can never go on a three cell nine clue. That's obviously going to be too high. So our eight and nine instead must appear in these two cells off of this clue. However, this cell is also on this nine clue, which is summing these two cells. So it can't be nine, otherwise we would need to put zero here. So this is our eight, this is our nine. To sum to 9, we need a 1 here. And then along this clue, now that we've used 1 in the box, the only way we can get to 9 is 2, 3, 4. It's going to leave 5, 6, and 7 in the remaining cells. And now for this clue, we can ask where 1 goes. 1 is ruled out of these two cells in the box, and it's ruled out of this cell in the row. So the only place for 1 on this clue is here. We also need a 3. It's going to have to go in one of these cells. Um, I'm not going to mark that since they're in different boxes, but we'll keep that in mind. This clue needs a 6 and a 7 in these cells, and neither of these are 6 or 7, so we have a 6-7 pair in these two cells. Uh, we can also say that since 6 can't go in these cells, we have to have a 6 here, so this is not 6. I'll go ahead and use it since I saw it, but um, that'll become important later. So let's go to the next box, this box three. We have an eight clue in three cells. And again, six and seven can't go in this clue. The highest we can have on a three cell eight clue without repeats is five. We can have one, two, five. But six and seven are gonna have to go in these two cells. And to sum to nine in two cells, we can either have two, seven, or three, six. So that is two or three. We also know with eight and three cells that we have to have a one. If we don't have a one, the lowest we can have is nine, like we have over here with two, three, four. And we have two ones, so this is the only cell that can contain one. The other digits are either two, five, or three, four. We don't know which yet. All right, this clue. We're gonna do the same sort of thing, but with high totals instead of low totals. So 21, in three cells can't have a one or a two on it. If we have two here, say, these would have to sum to 19. Can't do that with two Sudoku digits. So one and two have to go in these cells, but the one can't go in the 11 because we would need a 10 here. So this is two, this is nine. And now with the nine here, the highest we can make is six, seven, eight, which is 21. So we have to have that. The one has to go here. Three and four are gonna have to go in these two cells. We also need a 9 on this quadruple, and there's a 9 ruling it, ruling 9 out of these three cells, so this is our 9. This can't be 7, um, in fact, these are 3, 4, 5, so 7 is going to be down here, just like the 3 up here. Alright, we'll go to this one now. Um, well, before I do, same deduction we have with 6 here. Four is really out of these two cells, so there's a four in one of these. It's not here. Now, this clue is a 22, 
and 3 and 4 can't go in the 22. The lowest digit we can have on 22 is a 5. And an easy way to remember that or figure that out on the fly is what's the highest we can make in two cells? We can have 9 and 8. That's 17. So the remaining cell has to be at least 5. So 3 and 4 can't go in these cells. A 3 would go with 8 to make 11. But now we have an 8 here. So this is going to be 7 with 4 instead. And we can actually do the same thing here. This 2 makes this a 3, which makes this a 6. And now 3, 4 is ruled out of these cells to make up our 8. So it's 2, 5 instead. This is not 3. It's also not 4 because of this 4. This is not 2 or 3 because of this 3. And this is 3. The 2 also disambiguates 5, 2. The 6 gives us the 7. Uh, this can no longer be 6 or 7, so it's 8. This can't be 8 or 7, so it's 6 and 7. And this is a very symmetrical puzzle, but I'm approaching it a little asymmetrically because as we do things in this box, it's affecting what we did up here uh, before we get to this box. So uh, there are usually multiple orders that you can use to make it through a puzzle like this. So this can be three or four. So this is five, this is three, this is four. And we have this box filled in. Now along the 22, we don't have seven. So what can it be? Well, we, need, we know we need a nine. If we don't have nine, the most we can have is 21, like we had over here. So there is a nine. Nine has to go in that cell. Now these sum to 13. Can't use 4, 9, can't use 6, 7, so they have to be 5, 8, and we have a 5 to place those. The 7 gives us 6 and 7, that gives us a 5 and 7 and 6. Many digits here are 4 and 9, many digits here are 1 and 6. We have a 9 here that I missed, and we have a 1, which gives us 6, 1. Uh, we also need to complete this clue. We said there was a 3 in one of these cells. Now that this is 4, this has to be our 3. Same dot here, this has to be 7. We're left with 1, 2, and 6. 1 here places 1, and then we have 2, 6 here, so we need the opposite order. These are 2 and 3, and we have a 3 up here. These are 4, 5, and 8. That one is not 4. Uh, these cells need a 9. We have a 9 here. And then the remaining digits are 4 and 8. We can disambiguate those. These are 7 and 8 with a 7 down here. These are 2, 5, and 6. And we have a 2, 6 now, so this is 5. We have an 8 now, this is 5. That means we're going to be 2, 6. All right, the 3 here disambiguates 4, 3. We need 6 and 8, and we have a 6. We need 2 and 7, and we have a 7. And then these are going to be from 1, 5, and 9. These are also going to be from 1, 5, and 9. These are 2, 4. These are 3 and 8. That's our 8 from that 3. And at this point, we're going to have to look at the central box and let's see what digits we have looking at the central box uh sixes no well we can say we need a six in one of these cells uh, with four we can say we need a four in one of these cells with two we need a two in one of these cells eight is going to be similar in these cells but seven seven we do have four sevens looking into the central box. So this is seven. And three is going to be the same. This is the only place for three because of these threes. And that is going to restrict our remaining quads. These can no longer be four, five, or six. We need a four on the quad. It has to go here. And we need a five here. Here we need a six and a five. And that's going to disambiguate all these pairs. So this is two. This is the only place for six now. This is not 4, and this is 
8. This is the only place for 8 and 2 now. Our last digit here is 5. And now we're going to have one 9 left with a 9 here. And we can just finish the rows. So this is 1, 9, 1, and 9. And that is how you solve later than you think.